I'm Mr. Benjamin Lowe, author of Master Math Models. And my mission is to make questions easy for children to understand so that they can love and enjoy maths. So let's begin on this challenging question. Let's read the keywords first. Auntie May had 327 more stickers than bookmarks. So our first keyword here is 327 more stickers than bookmarks. Now, some children may ask why Auntie May isn't a keyword. Well, there isn't anyone else in this question, so she's not a keyword, okay? Next, after selling two thirds of the stickers, so let's circle three, circle off, and whatever comes after off is the denominator. So, as I've taught my students, with three as your denominator in a fraction, we will point the denominator to the words after off. Two, then, is what was sold. In this case, after selling, Auntie May would only have one of the three units of stickers left. Next, when you see the word half, convert this into a fraction. By converting it into a fraction, it will make the word easy to understand. So what we do now is the same thing as I said earlier. We will now circle two, which is the denominator of the fraction, circle off, and point two to the words that come after off. This means that two is the total number of bookmarks. It also means that one represents what was sold. Next, having sold these stickers and bookmarks, she now has 254 stickers and bookmarks left. First question, how many stickers and bookmarks did she have at first? Okay, this is missing a question mark, so let me just put that in. And second, How many stickers did she sell? So let's answer the first question. But before we can do that, we need to draw a model. Starting from the very first keywords, which says that there are 327 more stickers than bookmarks, then we know that the model for the stickers is longer than the model for the bookmarks simply because it is small. For that reason, we will draw a longer model and a shorter model. The longer model will represent a value of 327 more than the shorter model, as that is the difference given. 327, can you tell me what this is? If your answer is that this is the stickers, then you're right, because there are more stickers than bookmarks, which means that this has to be the bookmarks. Next. How many boxes do I cut the stickers model into? What do you think? If your answer was three, then you are perfectly right. So I'm gonna cut this into three boxes. So one, two, and three, okay? I'm gonna avoid using the same line because I don't want you to think that two units is the same as the number of bookmarks because it isn't, okay? Next. It says that half of the bookmarks were sold. So if half of the bookmarks were sold, then the other half of the bookmarks were not sold. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw a line to show this. Okay, and you do not want this line and this line to be in line because again, it will lead to a misunderstanding that they are the same size. After this, let's look at the words which says that two represents the stickers that were sold. So if two are the stickers that are sold, 
then over here, this would be so. And three being the total number, it means that this is left. So I'm going to show that right now. So if this is so, then this is left. Likewise, below it says that half of the bookmarks were sold, which means that one unit was sold and the other one unit, since there are only two, was not sold. So in the same way, this is left and this is sold. So here I got left and here I have sold. Finally, it says that there were 254 stickers and bookmarks left. What this means is that these two, when added together, forms 254, okay? So let me just show that a little bit more. Okay, and this is 254 altogether. Okay, very good. Next, what we are going to do is we're going to split the 327 into three equal shares in the model. Since there are three boxes for the stickers, I'm going to take 327 and I'm going to divide that by three. So if I take 327 divided by three, I will get 109. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 109 into each of the three boxes for the stickers, like this. This is 109. This is 109. And this is 109. Now that I've shared out the difference of 327 into these three portions, this portion is now here. It also means that this portion is now equal to this portion. Can you see why? If you said that the top model is made up of orange and blue, which should be equal to the orange and blue in the portion below, then you are right. Okay, so now that we know that this portion is equal to these three portions, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the three portions on top together and redraw that again below. Now, if I redraw this, it looks like this. Okay, now keep in mind that I'm drawing this based on the model on top. So with this, I now have three boxes that represent these three boxes. And it is equivalent to the two boxes over here. Since they are equivalent to each other, they are equal to each other, then I'm going to make them equal in size. To do that, I'm going to have to cut this into two boxes each. Why two? Because there are two boxes here. So since I'm cutting this into two because of the two boxes above, then I'm going to cut this into, what do you think? If you said three, then you are right. And the reason for there being three is because there are three boxes here, originally. Okay, so for that reason, I'm also going to cut this into three. As you can see, it is now made up of six units below and also six units on top, and they are equal to each other. So I'm just going to put here a couple of them so that it's clear what we are doing. Now, remember 
that each of these boxes here is actually a box over here. And that means that this box here is also two units since it, re it represents this. So now I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that for all of the model. Okay, so I'm just going to put it up here. So the six units over here, I'm going to transfer them back up to this model. The next question to ask ourselves is, what does the 254 represent? Earlier in the video, I told you that 254 was what was left. If that is the case, can you tell me how many units is 254? Great. If you said that it is made up of three plus two units plus 109, then you are right because this portion is what is left. So I'm going to show that right now by stating that five units plus 109 makes 254. For those of you who need a diagram to see this, it means that if I were to draw five units, and I was to add 109 behind, then this entire thing here would be 254, okay? So now if I were to take 254 and remove 109, I should get five units. So five units would be 254 minus 109, and this gives me 145. Hence, one unit, should be 145 divided by 5, giving me 29. I have just found the value of one unit. Now, one of the good habits to have in mathematics so that you do not get confused is to write down a value you have just found. So if you have just found that this is 29, then you want to put the 29 over here into several of the boxes so that you know what this 29 represents. Okay, this is just to remind yourself. So let's answer the first question, which says, how many stickers and bookmarks did Auntie May have at first? Basically, what they're asking you to do is to find everything here, except for the 327. So let's do that. Now, there are several ways to do that. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to find the number of bookmarks over here. And then I'm going to add 327, and that will give me the number of stickers. And then I will add the two numbers again together. Now, this is not the only way to do it, but this is one of the clearer ways. Okay. So, bookmarks at first would be six units. How do I find that? If your answer is that since bookmarks consist of six units over here, then I should take six times nine, six times 29, sorry, then you are perfectly right. So I'm going to take six times 29 and I'm going to get 174. Good. Now, if this is 174, then what I've just found is that this value is 174. If this is 174, 
and this is 327, how many stickers are there? If you said 174 plus 327, then you are perfectly right. Well done. So stickers would be 174 plus 327, giving me 501 stickers. And since the question is how many stickers and bookmarks, then I will need to find the total of stickers and bookmarks, and I will add these two values together. And it's 174 plus 501. This would give me a total of 675. This is the answer for part A. Let's answer part B now. How many stickers did she sell? Can you tell me how many units did she sell? So where do we find the answer for the number of stickers that are to be sold? Okay, if you were to look at this information here, stickers that she sold, and we can see here the word sold for stickers, then we know that we need to find this portion. So how many units do you see? If you said four, then you're perfectly right. So four units, but there's more than four units because there's also the 209s here. And we need to find this whole thing in order to find what was sold. So let's do that. Our first step towards doing that is to find four units, as we've discussed. So how do I find four units? If your answer is that to find four units, I should take four times 29, because one unit is 29, then well done. And this is going to give us 116. So 116 represents four units. But as we have also discussed, there are two blocks here that needs to be included to find how much was sold. And each of them is 109. So if I now take 109 times 2, I'm going to get 218. And adding these two numbers up together would represent how much was sold. So let's finish that up. And uh, let's label this correctly. So stickers sold would be 116 plus 218, giving us an answer of 334. And that is the answer for B. Okay, so with that, we have completed the question. If you would like to learn more, please subscribe to my video. If you found it useful, please share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next learning video. See you. Bye-bye.